Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to identify the delay time mathematically. Here in this clip, we'll first understand the basic of how would we solve this problem mathematically and then extend our understanding to go and find out the actual mathematical expression. Okay, let's get started here. Here on your screen, I have shown you a CMOS inverter with the input output and the current flowing through PMOS and MOS because we are studying delay or dynamic characteristics or switching characteristics as a capacitor at the output which I have shown by CL and the current is flowing through the capacitor which is nothing but IC. In very simple language if we write or if we apply KCL here we know that it's nothing but current entering equal to current leaving. So that would be nothing but IC plus IDN is equal to IDP which means that IC equal to IDP minus IDN. Now what is the value of IC? We know that it's an output current flowing across the capacitor CL. It's nothing but given by C dV by dt which in our case it's nothing but CL dV out by dt. Correct? Now we'll consider one case and we'll go ahead and identify what is going to happen in that case. Let's assume initially that the rising input case for our CMOS inverter. So considering the rising input case for our CMOS inverter, so it means that my input was zero first and then it began to rise. Now this is with the rise and fall time and the step one would be like this where my input has begun to rise from here, correct? If that's the case, initially when my input was zero, can I say that my output was high or VOH? So that's correct. So initially, output was VOH. When the input voltage switches from low to high, low means VOL to VOH, correct? What do we know? When the input voltage switches from low to high, we know that my NMOS transistor will turn on because it turns on when the logic high is applied at its input and it starts to discharge this load capacitor or in simple words, my PMOS transistor is turned off and my IDP is equal to zero. So if I had put that here in equation one, what I get is nothing but IC equal to minus IDN for this case, where IC itself is nothing but CL dV out by dt, correct? Equal to minus IDN. Let's call this as equation two, and this will be very important in our analysis. This e equation clearly tells us if somehow I can identify the value of IDN then my issue is somewhat sorted because I'll be able to predict my propagation delay which we'll see very shortly. Now as we assume that our input was rising from 0 towards VOH or VOL towards VOH remember this was VOL from VOL towards VOH that means my output would be falling from high to low so the analysis which we are going to do is propagation delay high to low analysis. Remember that. With that basics, let's go ahead now. Here on your screen, I have drawn some sketches. Don't get intimidated. It's a very simple thing. Here we saw that we need to find the equation of ID. In order to find the equation of ID for an NMOS, we need to know whether the NMOS is operating in the linear region or in the saturation region. For that, I have just plotted my graph of my input and output and from there on I will be able to predict the value of current. So this is nothing but initially my input equal to 0 or VOL, then it rises up to VOH. At the same time when my input is VOL, my output is VOH, when input rises the output starts falling and this was our definition of PHL, we 50% of the falling output transition to VOH. Technically, I want to find the time difference between T1 and T0. It's nothing but propagation delay high to low is T1 minus T0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the region of operation of my current from T0 to T1 dash and T1 dash to T1. Once I find the equation of the current or the region of operation of my NMOS transistor in these regions, I have a formula in which I can substitute and accordingly find the value of the propagation delay by integration. Let's quickly go ahead and see. But before we do that, we need to find the region of operations. So here is a very interesting concept. Please stay focused. 
Here I have drawn my NMOS, which we have already understood. Here I have put the region of operation for my NMOS and cutoff, linear and saturation. From the circuit, I can easily say that VGS is nothing but V in because this is gate and source for NMOS. I beg your pardon, this is my MOS inverter, CMOS inverter. In that, we are going to focus on NMOS because the NMOS transistor is on. So VGS for NMOS is V in, VDS for NMOS is V out, conditions for cutoff, linear and saturation. Now let's focus on the output waveform. We are currently concerned with T0 and T1 dash time. So let's see what our output is going to be in that time zone. My output is VOH and my output is VOH and VOH minus VTN. Now a question might arise, how did I plot T1 dash here? Very, very simple. 